Let's do another round of mesh tastic range testing. This time with two Lilygo T Echoes. There are ones sitting on the console of the Jeep. And this one's going with me for a little hike. I'll stop at the regular spots, see what we get with this little stubby. And then I have a second antenna to try out to see if I get a little better range with that. Now it's been brought up several times with good reason that on these previous range tests, I'd have the other node sitting down on the console of either the Jeep or the truck. And for ideal range, I should have it up on top of it or at least up on the dash and yes that would be ideal but i'm thinking something that's more realistic um, if i'm if a family event or whatever and we're out and about and i leave one in a vehicle to serve as a uh, as a our node to extend the range of our mesh network i'm going to put it in a place that's not noticeable and likely to disappear on me like on the roof of my truck because if I leave it on the roof of my truck if somebody doesn't steal it I'm just going to drive off with it falling in the parking lot so that's the logic behind that I am standing at the spot where I often lost signal before and with that stubby stock antenna on the T echo I could not make the connection I made two attempts I put on this Amazon special able to get through so we get to keep on going. All right, folks, we're at the shelter that sits at the hub of these cross country ski loops that I do my range testing on. And uh, as expected, I was not able to get a acknowledgement from this location. All right, I was just getting ready to head out and I got a pleasant surprise. I switched over on the Mishtastic app on my phone to the Lily Go T Echo I left in the Jeep. And the message I sent from the shelter made it through. I didn't get an acknowledgement back, but the message going out did go out. So another thing to keep in mind, and I forgot about that, that just because you don't get an acknowledgement doesn't mean that the message didn't go out. So with that aftermarket uh, antenna on one T-Echo and the stock little stubby on the other ones, I was able to reach farther than I have in the past. So with, with other nodes I experimented with, so very happy. So overall, it's about what I was expecting. Uh, these T-Echos work pretty well with the stock antenna. They work a little bit better with these aftermarket ones. Now, I don't even know the brand of this thing, it's an Amazon special, and uh, that's kind of where we're at with Meshtastic antennas. It's kind of the wild, wild west. There isn't a whole lot of options. Um, I got a few ideas of making my own. I basically have a, uh, a flexible antenna that I use for ham radio on 2 meters and 70 sims that I should be able to cut down to work pretty well on 915. So uh, with that, I'll make some improvements for the nodes that I carry around. As you've figured out, I have a couple of these T-Echos now, and as of now, they're my portable node of choice. They're not perfect, but they're pretty darn good. So overall, these things are pretty sweet. I'm at the point now where I would recommend them. Uh, I don't think they're awesome and perfect, but far as off the shelf uh turn it on and go devices this thing's pretty good now there's a new contender that's going to be out i saw uh, i got one on pre-order i should get it next month and we'll see how that one goes in comparison to this so that's kind of the cool thing of mesh tastic now we're starting to get some traction it's getting to be kind of popular in places and there's a lot of options. It's, it's kind of like ham radio for normal people. Uh, there's a lot of experimentation and fun you can do with this, making your own antennas, building out your own nodes, and you don't need a uh, license to do it. So if studying dry, boring electronics data is not your cup of tea, 
Mesh Tastic could be ham radio for you. So, yeah, pretty cool so far. There's going to be more and more Mesh Tastic stuff coming soon. So, keep an eye on this playlist. It's going to be growing. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll catch you on the next one.